So we are making a brand new soap today. Uh, we had a request and this will be a popular one for spring and summer. So I am mixing coffee with our soap batter. And then we're gonna have, it's starting to thicken. We're gonna have another half that'll be plain. And this one is a thick trace because we've got a few different essential oils in here along with the fragrance oil. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. Okay, go. Ooh, cannot wait. I think we've outdone ourselves with this soap. It's um, vanilla coffee with like a warming citrus twist. It's similar to our Vanilla Skies, but kind of completely different because I've added um, a lot of essential oils to this one. So it's really, really amazing. And I tried to do different patterns for each um, one. I thought this was making a smaller batch of soap, but I got a bigger batch than I expected. So I kind of did some different patterns. They're all the same um, scent and everything, just they look totally different. So this one's got like kind of an overlapping pattern and this one's got kind of like a side swirl pattern. And then this one's got kind of like a middle twist pattern. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait till this one is ready. This one's going to sleep right now, and then I have to wait um, a couple days to unmold it till it sets and it's ready to unmold. Stay tuned. So the soaps have been sitting overnight and you can see how they've already started changing color. Not ready to unmold yet, probably another day or so, just depending on how they look. So this is the first one with a bit of a side swirl and then We've got the middle one, which kind of has an interlocking pattern. And then we've got the last one, and this one's kind of got, I was trying to go for like a middle, middle sort of swirl type thing. And they all have coffee and a beautiful like vanilla citrus scent. Let's unmold soap. So today we're unmolding our coffee soap. They've got a different setup here, so let's just see if we can slowly, slowly kind of open this mold up a bit. I'm gonna take this off camera while I work on that and come back. Okay, I'm back. So I just cleaned off the top of the molds and just did quite a bit of like prying and pulling and, and trying to get this out. So this one, looks like it's ready to come out so we're just going to move this guy over push on the back get it to come out takes a bit of time here so i'm just kind of loosening the back the sides and this one is all ready i'll just smooth all the sides out later on and we'll let that one rest for now. So we've got the other soap, it's been cleaned up and then I'm gonna work on this one. I've just started doing some prying and pulling and I don't know if you can see this, but we'll go this way. So I'm just trying to get some air on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but it's slowly starting to release. We're getting some air bubbles in there. See that air bubble? And obviously we need it the whole length of the mold. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm kind of on a bit of an odd angle here, but you can see that big air bubble. And it's almost ready to release. And there we go. I think I feel the last air bubble. And it's coming, it's coming. So you can see it's starting to come. And we'll clean up the sides of this one, but we'll show you the top. 
So these are our three logs of soaps, coffee soap, and they've got coconut milk in them, and they've got coffee grains, and they've got a beautiful vanilla citrus scent, and I'm gonna cut these logs into bars, so come along. So let's cut the first soap log. And this one is our coffee soap. It's got really nice ground coffee in it. And my cutter does, I think my cutter does 10 bars or 12 bars. I can't remember. But anyway, it fits perfectly in here. And here we go. So I'll show you what it looks like. So a little bit of coffee in there. And I'll clean it all up later on. So a little more coffee, and this will all go darker brown just because of the um, vanilla in there. All different little patterns. So they're all going to look slightly different each log, just depending on the way I poured the coffee. But it'll all go a darker brown in probably like three, four days now that it's all been cut. So that one has a little bit more of a swirl. Ooh, I like that one. It's fun to see it when it's freshly cut. And then see, you can already see it starting to go brown. That's just the vanilla um, scent. So it'll all go this darker color eventually.